everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on forming and solving equations from worded problems. These come up quite often at Maths GCSE now and more often than not they're about people's ages but they're quite easy to spot. This is an example here. This says Maya is six years younger than Ned, Peter is three times as old as Ned and the sum of their three ages is 109. Work out Peter's age. So the first thing we need to do is we need to represent the three people's ages using algebra because we don't know how old they are yet so that's what we need to figure out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to pick one of the three people to be my x value, my just common value. Now more often than not in the example it's the first name that they mention. So in this one it could be Maya. But if we look, we've got Maya is six years younger than Ned and Peter is three times as old as Ned. So actually using Ned as our common value would be much easier. So I'm going to write that Ned and actually you could use X or you can use any letter you want to represent Ned. But it might be easier to use N so that I remember that my N is Ned's age. So now I need to represent Maya's age. So Maya is six years younger than Ned. That means to work out Maya's age, I will do Ned's age take away six. And then we have Peter. And Peter is three times as old as Ned. So that's three times N or three N. So they're my three ages and you'll actually pick up some marks just from doing this step. And now they'll give you some kind of clue, some more information in order to figure out what these three numbers are. And here it says the sum of their three ages is 109. So that means if I add their ages up, I'll get 109. So I can actually add these expressions together and add n minus 6, add 3n. And that should give me 109. So now I've just got an equation that I can solve. I can simplify my left hand side first. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n minus 6 is 109. Now I'm just going to solve this equation. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So that gives me 5 n is 115 and then divide by 5 and I get that n is 23. So now I've got what n is, well that means that Ned's age is 23. Now at this point I'm just going to reread my question because sometimes they'll want to know what are the ages of all three people so I'd have to figure out what everyone's ages are but this question is actually just asking me for Peter's age. So I don't need to bother working out Maya's age, I can just work out Peter's. Now Peter is three times as old as Ned and we put 3n. So I just need to do 3 times 23 which is 69. So that's how old Peter is. Now what I can actually do to check though, although they're not asking me for Maya's age, I could work out Maya's age as well. So Maya is Ned's age take away 6, so 23 take away 6 is 17. And then I can just check that what I've done actually works. So do these three ages add up to 109? So 17 add 23 add 69. And yes it does, it adds up to 109, so I know I've done this right. Here's a question for you to try. This is not about ages, it's about the number of goals that people are scoring in football. But you can spot that it's one of these questions because again it's saying Kieran has scored 8 more than Chris, Jermaine has scored 5 more than Kieran and all together they've scored 72 goals. So it's quite easy to spot that this is the question we're looking at, this is the process we're looking at. So you can pause the video and have a go at this question and then unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's a solution. So I chose Kieran 
as my common value. I used K for Kieran. If you use someone different, your working out will look slightly different, but you should get the same answers. So I said that Kieran was K, and um, that would mean Chris was K take away eight, and Jermaine was K add five. So all together, we add all these up. It gives me this equation here, and we can simplify that and then solve it. So Kieran scored 25 goals, which means Chris scored 17 and Jermaine scored 30. Thank you for watching.